Hello there, my materialistic minions. It's me, Bo Shevisu, coming to you today with the Kohi Press. This is basically the fusion of a French press and a mug, but it's very different from other French press mugs out there. Very, very different. I'm Bo Shevisu. I live here in Seattle, Washington, the mecca of coffee connoisseurs. And I have been trained as a barista at Dutch Brothers Coffee, in case you've ever been there. It's absolutely delicious. Um, <laughs> they tend to put a lot of sugar in their coffee, but actually their Americanos are absolutely stupendous. Now this video right here is for those people who maybe don't, you, you don't have a chance to use your espresso machine in the morning and you just gotta run out the door, but you want that caffeinated content in your system as well as a decent cup of coffee and this might in fact be your answer so I'm gonna walk through basically how this works and uh, what I like about it and a few hints tips tricks and see if this works for you so it comes in two main parts you'll see that there's a little screen on the bottom very 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 fine screen I couldn't get any sort of grounds through there. As a matter of fact, I tested this with the highest possible ground content possible. Uh, it was almost like powder, and still, even that, I couldn't get it through that little screen. So that's nice. I have tried some presses before where a lot of sediment gets through. But anyway, so the basic process to this is, first of all, you're gonna get your mug. There's nothing in there, as you can see, nice and clean. You're gonna put about 25 grams of coffee, ground coffee in there. And and if you're European, you're probably like, hey, 25 grams, I kinda know what that is. Or if you have a scale, a kitchen scale. <laughs> For me, it's basically just three mounded scoops of ground coffee. So one, two, three, you put it in there. And uh, typically, you want to put a little, um, uh, not quite boiling water, but you know we're not gonna be all intricate here. We're just, again, getting you a cup of coffee and getting you out the door. You can get boiling water if you'd like. Put it in there, and then you're going to use this included stir stick, stir it in there, and basically you're gonna fill up the water about to this little bulge right here. If not, maybe just a little below. I found that when I put too much water in, um, I actually had to slosh some out. So, once you have the water in, you're gonna let it steep for about three to four minutes. If you really wanna get precise, you can have a timer. But again, we're running out the door. So now you have your water and your coffee grounds in there. And you can't drink that, that's disgusting. So, this is what you're going to do next. You're basically gonna put this guy together nice and tight. Be sure this is tight, because if it's not, if you're gonna get it all over you in boiling hot water. So make sure it's nice and snug and everything. And you can see there's little rubber seals on there to really create a nice seal. And then you're gently, I would actually suggest putting this on a counter so there's something sturdy. And then you're gently going to push this down. Be sure to have the lid open to release pressure. If you don't, bad things are gonna happen. It's gonna spray all over the place. So be sure this is open. And as this is on the counter, slowly start pushing it down. It shouldn't go too fast or your ground is too coarse and it shouldn't go too slow and too hard because then that mean you're, it means your ground is too fine and you're probably using it for espresso or something. So yeah, play around with your ground, but play. It's, it's all about playing. So anyway, back to this. You're pushing down like this, and then once you get down to here, you'll see that there's this little um, thread, so to speak, and when you get there, then you can tighten this down, and voila, you have your cup of coffee. Now here's where this French press mug differentiates itself from other French press mugs out there. So we're actually gonna reverse en engineer this. We're gonna take that off, and basically what it's doing is it's keeping all the coffee grounds on the outside, and you're drinking it through the middle portion um, because uh, basically all the water is seeping through underneath here, and it's forcing it up through this little screen right there up into the middle chamber where you are drinking it out of. But you may be like, Bo, are you just walking around with a French press and you're just letting your coffee sit in old grounds all morning and it's gonna just get bitter and nasty? Aha, they've thought of that. And here's where it's different. If you were to disconnect this from the bottom, you'll actually see that there's this little spring-loaded plunger right here, this little spring-loaded seal. And that basically only allows liquid to go in 
and then once it's in, it traps it inside this chamber. So the liquid isn't going in and out, in and out, in and out. It basically, once you press it through here, it stays in here. It's not going in the opposite direction. So it's a one-way press. <laughs> Isn't that brilliant? Uh, but what's nice about it is that the coffee grounds actually serve as basically an insulator on the outside. And so, you know, they're hot, hot coffee grounds. So why not keep that on the outside to keep this core, which by the way, again, is separate from those grounds, to keep this core nice and piping hot. So that's it, I absolutely love this thing. It does come with a little stir stick as mentioned before. Wait, wait, you're not stirring the inner chamber, you're stirring the outside. Comes with everything you absolutely need. Um, taking it apart is fairly easy, which yes, I would recommend once you get home from work. The first thing you do is when you walk through the door is just to take it apart, thoroughly rinse it, uh, because it's just gonna get nasty eventually. You can, if you'd like, actually take the little rubber grommet off. As you can see, it's actually kind of wet because I just used it this morning. And uh, the little grommet thing, as you can see, uh, that goes in this direction like so, under there, and then putting it back together and thoroughly rinse all of that screen and then in there. So yes, that's it. Isn't that a rather brilliant device, the one-way flow? I, I, I'm really, really impressed with this thing. So overall, I would give this a five out of five stars, especially for us busy people in our, uh, our lifestyle here where we might not have time to even swing by a coffee shop and <laughs> get something. But you can make boiling water fairly easily at home as you're brushing your teeth or putting your tie on. Pour the boiling water in, um, stir it up, and pretty much wait a few minutes and out the door you go with a piping hot cup of French press coffee. Awesome. My name is Bo Chavisu. I look forward to testing and reviewing more fun things here on Amazon.com.